A few weeks ago, we had you send us your custom designed jerseys in NBA 2K22. And the response was amazing. There's so much talent out there. Absolutely. With so many crazy submissions, we thought, hey, let's make it an official contest. Yep. Announcing the 2K TV Jersey Design Challenge. If you think you have what it takes to create the best jersey design in all of the 2K community, listen up. Designers, this is your chance. Coming up next, the Pacers take it off. So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. Let's check out Sacramento's starting lineup. We've got Demata Sabonis. De'Aaron Fox is out there with Terrence Davis. Then it's Trey Lyles. And it's Barnes in at the three, the small forward. And for the Pacers... T.J. Warren out there with Thaddeus Young. Then there's Miles Turner. Then it's MP. And it's Brogdon in a shooting guard. Well, we see it almost every night, Clark. Another great backcourt matchup. Well, B.A., this league is so stacked with tremendous guards. I mean, all-star caliber guards all over the league. And it really creates a situation where being able to choose guards for the all-star game is just... Uh, Virtually impossible to not leave somebody off that's deserved. Late in the season, the award talk starts to become clear. Grant, hard to argue Trey against Lyles. MP winning the Rookie Assistant. of the Year. Yeah, B.A., yeah, MP Davis. just has too much going for him to not win it. Most voters have to have him as the heavy favorite at this point. Fox with the ball. Now guarded by MP. Fox goes in. And Fox powers it home. Fox never afraid to take it right at the defense on the drive. Excellent display of speed there. Back to MP. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Fox. Coming off a 31-point game. He's got to be mad at himself. He won't get a better look than that. Here's MP. Rebound by the Kings. And, you know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start so far. Stolen by Young. MP up top. That shot off the mark. So Sacramento will take it the other way. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Davis, the pass to Fox. Here's Sabonis. Can't connect from short range. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Pass to Young. All by himself. Here's Davis. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Brogdon. To the paint. Rebounded by Lyles. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. MP shot is off. They need everyone clicking here. Unfortunately, his game has gone the other direction. Brockton against Davis. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Timeout called. The Pacers. They're coming off that loss against Portland. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. Indiana trailing here. MP, the pass to Turner. Back to MP. Nice assist and nice advantage. Solid play all the way around. Just an assertive play from MP down low. Getting around the contact and right to the bucket. Box the pass to Sabonis. Out of bounds. King's ball as Sacramento keeps possession. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Fox. There's the defensive presence they want from Turner. Hustling and using his mobility to send it back. Warren. Good. And the assist goes to MP. 
He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. MP, the pass to Young. Back to MP. To the middle. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Sacramento will have Sacramento it. Ball. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. That'll put some fear into the shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Fox against MP. Fox outside, driving to the basket, and they pick up two. Fox has got six. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. MP with it, and Sabonis picks him up defensively. Nice shot by Turner. That's weight room action right there. Excellent strength from Turner. You try to get physical with him, and he can overpower you. Box the pass to Sabonis, and Sabonis slams it in. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they still never get old. Ball. And the Pacers with possession here. Trailing by four, Brogdon finds MP. Nice move. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. You know, you look at Thaddeus Young, his motor on display there on the boards. One of the reasons he's carved out such a productive, long NBA career. And it's Fox missing. Here's Indiana. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Kings. That one in Sacramento. And in their last game against this club, turnovers really were a problem for them. Yeah, sloppy play sabotaged them. I mean, they'll have to be much more focused this time around. Outside Barnes. To the inside. And there's Sabonis. That one's good. On the assist by Barnes. Sabonis has got his second basket on the night. In some ways, De'Aaron Fox is a good lesson in patience for owners. He didn't explode out the gate after being picked fifth overall back in 2017. But after a long time, he has found his footing and looks spectacular out there on the floor. Here's Davis. After the basket by Indiana. Here's Fox. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Fox continues to get better from the mid-range just the way he wants to. And the basket by MP. You know, Grant, in terms of improvement after his rookie year, you saw it across De'Aaron Fox's entire stat line. Yeah, once he got comfortable in the league, he started going off. He increased his shooting and assist numbers and got himself nominated for most improved player in 2019. And so here's Sacramento after the basket by Indiana. Clock at six. Back to Lyles. Here's Barnes. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. They get it back. MP, the pass to Young. Back to MP. Down low. And Young slams it in. Cannot help but to love the court sense and the vision. That's a terrific find by MP. Pass to Barnes. Sabonis with it. Turner covers. He can't get it to go. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that. And they're actually earning it well right now. Now here's Barnes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Davis. Davis. That's good. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. MP, the pass to Brogdon. Back to MP. With his first shot attempt. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Brogdon extremely confident because he knows he has the green light to fire off. Off the catch. 
Fox against Warren. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Boy, you've got to appreciate the pass in there. Results in a great look. MP, the pass to Brogdon. Back to MP. And good. Coming off the assist by Brogdon. MP's got 10 points. Boy, Brogdon has such outstanding vision as a playmaker. Easily spots the wide open man. And now called Sacramento. And Grant, for the super teams that are managing their stars' minutes right now, it seems like home court advantage is less of a priority than being fresh for the postseason. You know what, B.A., it really does seem that way. It's like you'd rather play with a stacked hand on someone else's table than play with a weaker hand at home. Championship teams know how to win on the road. The most important thing is being healthy and being together as a group going into the postseason. And it's a completely new group for the Kings. The three from Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Holmes fires for three. Again, the miss by Mitchell. Well, Indiana shooting 45% from the field in this first. DiVincenzo with the steal. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. From deep, MP. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Outside Lamb. Hey, hey, balance it out. Here's Lynn, covered by Rubio. Pass to Holmes. Just five on the clock. Outside for Lamb. Fires in the triple. And the Kings lead by three. You know, this is an area of his game that he's honing. Lamb knows he has to connect more from outside to help his all-around game. Had he played a stop that easy layup right there, I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. And both free throws good for MP. And so here's Sacramento. Here's Lamb. Nine points in his last outing. Lynn in the high post. DiVincenzo on the wing. Shot clock at six. That one falls. You know, in the pick and roll, you got a lot of options, but sometimes the best option is to do it yourself. DiVincenzo making the right choice there. Stolen by Holmes. Mitchell against Rubio. Mitchell misses. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Pass to Duarte. The three. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Boy, great decision that time by MP, moving the ball and sharing the well. Two Mitchell, the pass to Holmes. Two minutes. Here's DiVincenzo. Driving inside. Oh, and Jackson with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Outside, DiVincenzo. Just five to shoot. On the wing, Mitchell. From about 19. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. The first free throw is good. Both free throws good from Holmes. Indiana has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. And the dunk by Jackson. I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome. Off the charts, a short center who still makes his presence felt. We've got 123 left in the first. Lamb against Jackson. Outside Mitchell. Over MP. 
That one off the back iron and out. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. <laughs> and how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass, set up the alley-oop flush. Guys, I tell you, there are assists, and then there are delicious dimes. This was the last. And it's Mitchell, the miss. The way he's struggling this quarter, he's only adding to their troubles. They needed his offense to come around. Outside, DiVincenzo. 35 seconds left now in the first quarter. It's rebounded by Indiana. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. Pass to Lynn. The 15-footer. The offensive rebound. And it's good for two. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. MP getting it done for Indiana. He had solid production this quarter. With... Well, good to great. A catchphrase of unselfish play. We want more. And we don't... Brad, it's great to have veteran leaders like Rubio. It really is. And continuing to search for that next level as a team. That growth mind state can only help. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. All right, let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. Oh, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second-chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. On the court for the Kings, second quarter underway. Rashawn Holmes is out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Alex Lynn. And it's Mitchell in at the point. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Trailblazers was tremendous. He ended up with 36 points and kept others involved. Plus, his defensive intensity was fantastic. Once he took over, it was pretty much impossible to find a way to slow him down. Back over to you. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him. It might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. Now here's Rubio. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Well, you watch Rubio play, and he can't help but love the way he plays. He plays with flair. He plays with joy and enthusiasm. He plays with such an air of effervescence and joy. It's contagious. Holmes, no good. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Jackson finds MP. Now here's Boucher, defended by Holmes. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. And pushing it up, here's Sacramento. Here's DiVincenzo. Finished off the break. And the Kings lead by six. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for Sacramento. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Rubio not as flashy as he once was, but he still puts on a show, Clark. Well, you know, he came into the league and was really, Brian, a breath of fresh air. The no-look pass, the way he pushed it up the floor with kind of reckless abandon. And he's really one of the more likable players in the league and one of the more entertaining as well. Even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Rubio passes to MP. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. MP's got 14. Rubio finding the open man, it seems that's exactly what he was built to do. It's what he's paid to do. Pass to DiVincenzo. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Six on the shot clock. The three from Mitchell. The rebound by MP. MP's got 11 rebounds in the game. Rubio passes to MP. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. 
So both teams making some changes here. And every team looking for bigs who can stretch the floor, Clark. If you were playing today, what kind of three-point shooter you think you'd be? Well, I wasn't that great back in my career because it wasn't a shot that many teams used a lot, but I would have worked on it to become proficient at it. So I think I would have been a 40% three-point shooter, 35 to 40% given time to work on the NBA. You adapt to the times, and I was actually already starting to work on my three-point game before my injuries took me out of the league. Now here's Sabonis. You know, his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Pass to Fox. Sabonis in the post. He's covered by Warren. And there's Sabonis. That one's good. On the assist by Fox. Really sweet passing from Fox. He's a reliable floor general and has great vision on the court. Yep, count it. Turner's got his second basket of the night. That's exactly what you work for, a high percentage look. And here's Sabonis. Pass to Fox. Up top, Barnes. Sabonis, the pass to Davis. Over Brogdon. Davis can't hit. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And the Pacers lead by one. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Fox. Give him eight points now. From the arc. That's in there. The Davis Fox. with the assist. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Fox against MP. Outside Warren. Outside Brogdon. MP up top. Pass to Brissett. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. And they're on the break. Here's Davis. And finished Thomas off by Davis. Davis. Fox really interested in making his teammates better, and he does it with his passing. Here's Brissett. Back to MP. It's stolen by Fox. Barnes against Warren. Barnes, it's good. And now it's a six-point Sacramento lead. Boy, the size and quick release Barnes has helps him inside. I mean, he feels very comfortable shooting from here. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it's definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. <laughs> Showing off the major hops. Wow. <laughs> Look at Fox. Get up and finish with some power. Here's Turner. Lays it up and banks it in. Turner's got eight points. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. And Fox, here we go. And it's Fox with the jam. And he's got it going now. And when he's in this kind of zone, boy, he's fun to watch. Indiana calls timeout. Well, without question, De'Aaron Fox displaying all his skills today. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Young, he's checked in for Indiana. For Indiana, they've gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. MP, the pass to Warren. Here's MP. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got four rebounds now. Inside. Out to Fox. Pass to Barnes. On the wing, Davis. Over Brogdon. Hits the front of the rim and out. Indiana trailing here. To the paint. Here's MP. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Fox. There's Davis with the three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got four rebounds now. Here's Brogdon. They get the rebound. MP. Off target at the rim. Sacramento has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. It's Barnes on the wing. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got assist number five here tonight. Looking to get back on track. And MP lays it in. MP's got 19. 
taking charge on the drive. You can't give MP these types of lanes to the rim. He's going to make you pay. And Fox powers it home. And sends it home with some pass. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hang it up there like that. Yes, they're not backing off at all, are they? That's his first personal foul. That free throw, no good. The Pacers making a switch here. Batadze's checked in. And he sinks the second. And you know, as good as Young can be in the open court, doesn't quite carry over to his free throw shoot. Shoots from the line. The shot off that time. So Indiana will take it the other way. Brogdon drives in. And the layup is good off the glass. Brogdon doesn't mind getting bumped and bodied because he's able to handle that. Love how he fights off the defense. Down low. Here's Davis. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Davis has got four points this quarter. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. Fox against MP. Young, the pass to MP. It is always a good idea to pound it inside. MP forcing the issue that time, getting himself to the line. First free throw is good. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. De'Aaron Fox has upped his scoring average every single season. He said, quote, it's just continuing to stay in attack mode early and often. I feel like no matter who it is, I can get to the basket. Once you see the ball go in a couple of times, it definitely helps to shoot jumpers after that, guys. That jump shot is the final piece, Allie. Good stuff there. Thanks. MP brings so much to the court, including toughness. Clear contact on the shot, and he's still able to power through it. That's great concentration. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Fourth team off on the first. And so it's the Sacramento Kings ending the quarter up 10. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And, you know, that's not a job they asked him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. We've got Malcolm Brogdon, TJ Warren out there with Thaddeus Young. Then it's MP, and it's Turner in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five for the Pacers. No good on the second free throw. And the drive MP has is evident. This is a player that wants to be great and willing to do whatever it takes. From 10 feet away, the Pacers pull it in. Turner's got five rebounds in the game. To the middle. From 13. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Turner. Turner's got three assists now in this one. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Lyles, guarded by Young, to the left side wing. Here's Fox. Young with the defensive effort. Now here's Brogdon. Davis with a rebound. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Sabonis, up and in on the layup. Sabonis has got eight points. The hard way there, guys. Sabonis, a tough player, does not shy away from contact. It's hard to think about DeMontis Sabonis without thinking about his father. Arvita Sabonis is one of the first great Lithuanian players in the NBA. And in talking about DeMontis Sabonis and his father, it's striking how many Lithuanian players have made it to the NBA. Yeah, it's not a short list. DeMontis is one of many. His father has a plaque in the Hall of Fame, and I'm betting there'll be a few more before too long. There's Davis with the three. The basket's good off the assist from Fox. 
Fox has got assist number seven tonight. MP to pass to Young. Back to MP. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. MP's got 30 points. And right now, MP is going for it, folks, letting it all hang out. Just getting whatever shot he wants and executing. Fox outside. Sabonis against Brogdon. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Six to shoot. From the right block. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Kings lead by 10. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Kept alive. Oh, he's been doing everything. Hitting the boards. Huge game for him thus far. Yeah, you don't see many triple doubles often. And I tell you what, his effort and efficiency, really on point tonight. Now here's Davis. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Man, I like how confident Fox is inside. I mean, awesome, to the absolutely Pacers. awesome, getting good positioning close to the basket. Indiana calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. The Pacers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Pass to Turner. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. They'll take on the Magic at Amway Center after this one. That'll be the second game of a five-game road trip. And he's Indiana going to the line Fox. for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Fox has a lot of game. I mean, really good at distributing the ball, getting into the lane, and getting his guys involved. And he makes the first but misses the second. Well, the Pacers shooting the rock well at 46%. Snatched up, Young. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Young's got seven points. Young is often overmatched because he's not as big as other power forwards, but he still finishes inside at a high rate. MP against Fox. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Brogdon. Yep, that one goes. He has six. The cool, calm, collected, and composed. That's exactly who Malcolm Brogdon is, even when he's inside with the big fellas. Now here's Fox. 24 points for him. Pass to Lyles. This one for three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Fox has got eight assists in the game. Young, the pass to MP. That shot, no good. So Sacramento will take it the other way. Left side, Davis. Sabonis. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, I love the aggressive nature with which Sabonis offensive rebounds. He hustles. He's got great energy, but he's also pretty skilled. And you saw all of that right there. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. It's scooped up and denied. He sends it right off the glass. To the inside, MP. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. MP's got 32 points in the game. Sacramento has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Fox. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. It's so hard to guard Fox without fouling him, especially when he's being the aggressor. Second free throw, no good. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Sacramento has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. To the middle. Here's Lyles. Oh, great D that time from MP. Shots good by Sabonis. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power.
power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Here's MP. The Kings getting their last shot to go. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. There's Davis with the three. Rebounded by Brogdon. The Pacers have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Pass to Young. Back to MP. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Now Barnes. Jacks up a three. The Pacers pull it in. Brogdon's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Warren. Misses off the right iron. Well, Sacramento is shooting 41% since halftime. Floats one. Outside for Davis. To the paint. Here's Lyles. Uses the glass on the layup. Lyles has got five points in the quarter. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Sacramento. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure hustle. Free throw drops for Sabonis. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. That's exactly how you do it. Defender pressing up on you, you press right back. Taking a look at the Kings. We've got Terrence Davis. Trey Lyles is out there with Demonis Sabonis. Then there's Mitchell, and it's Fox in at the point guard NBA position. Foul. And the foul called MP. on MP. That's, That's foul number two for foul. him. Second and the Kings foul. shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Fox the pass to Davis. Here's Lyles. Back to Davis. Clock at six. Takes a 13-footer. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know T.J. Warren's accuracy is truly remarkable. Here's a guy who can really hit from anywhere. And even more than that, do it efficiently. You know, Grant, looking at Warren's precision shooting, he's used it to pull off some pretty staggering scoring performances. Yeah, a few guys have had over 50 points in a single game before. When he gets in the zone, Warren can have a huge impact. But you know, it's the result of a ton of hard work developing that solid shooting. Down low. And Young slams it in. You know, when he gets that close, Young is going to finish with a dunk. Here's MP. Hauled in by the Kings. Fox has got a sixth rebound on the night. High post Davis. Here's Lyles, covered by MP. Inside, here's Mitchell. That's in there! Assistant Davis with the assist! Davis. Davis has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. MP drives in. Rebounded by Lyles. Lyles has got seven rebounds in the game. Up top, Davis. He's covered by Warren. Sinks it from yeah. distance. Fox has got 28 points for the game. Man, I tell you what, when Fox is making threes, he's hard to guard. That's a part of his game he's got to continue to work on. The Kings have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Lyles' shot is good. Trey Lyles. And the Kings lead by 21. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Sam, with so much player movement nowadays, Clark, a lot of small market teams nervous about attracting and retaining the stars. 
You know, B, I played for a small market team, the Indiana Pacers, in the early 80s when I played the short time I did in the NBA. And that's always a challenge to be able to keep your star players in your market because there is more attractive real estate out there when you think about other cities in the league. And players do have a desire sometimes to be in larger markets where the lights are bigger and brighter and there are more people. And I don't know if there's anything the league can really do to keep players from desiring to move on occasion. And the second free throw is good. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Barnes finds Sabonis. Outside Davis. Pass to Lyles. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's down low. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. Here's Lyles, guarded by Young. Good, Trey on Lyles. the bucket. Assisted Lyles has got six here in the, the corner. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. To the middle, pass to Warren. The shot, no good. And the Kings going the other way now. And Young with the block. Fatty is Young using that expansive wingspan the to put that Lyles. shot in reverse. They have hit the boards hard this half. Those second chance points are mounting up. Here's Young. And there's the rejection. Now Davis. Well, there's been a lot of discussion about officiating in the league right now. Clark, you think the game's called tighter than it used to be? I don't really think it's tighter. It's different. I mean, the emphasis is on really giving the offensive players an opportunity to get to the basket and to not allow defensive players to impede with their hands on the perimeter. And I like that part of it. And cutting, you can't just chuck cutters and be overly physical. Basketball is a contact game. It's not a wrestling match. Freedom of movement is an important part of that, and it looks better and it does, in fact, uh, allow it to be a little more entertaining, in my opinion. Inside the paint, MP plays with real heart, not allowing the defense to discourage him. Fox against MP. And Fox powers it home. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. MP, no good. And it's Sacramento's ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Back to Davis. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baiting him into it. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Yeah, highly efficient, nothing extra special there. Just effective. Get through, get through, get through. Turner against Sabonis. Here's Fox. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. Fox has got 13 points here in the second half alone. Turner passes to MP. And the basket is good. Really good to see Turner find the open man, proving once again he's a team first guy. Well, the Kings shooting has been good, around 52% from the field. To the paint. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Shooting Brogdon's checked in for Indiana. Metu, he's checked in for the Kings. Lamb comes in for Barnes. MP, the pass to Turner. On the wing, MP. To the inside. Turner, no good. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is. That's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage, and as a result, they've got a big lead. MP, the pass to Young, back to MP. Rebounded by Fox. Fox has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, with everything else that coaches have been dealing with, the NBA gave them a pass to skip. 
In for the Kings. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox. One shot. Indiana's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. And pushing it up, here's Sacramento. Pass to Holmes. Back to Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot won't fall. And Indiana will go the other way with it. To the paint. Out left to the wing. Down low. Here's Wade. Checked by Mitchell. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Some changes for Sacramento. Metu, he's checked in for Sabonis. Jackson comes in for Fox. And Holiday subbed in for Mitchell. Holiday against MP. Two minutes remaining in the game. DiVincenzo, pass to Holiday. He takes it in. And Justin Holiday Holiday's powers it home. The There's the unselfishness you like to see in a guard. DiVincenzo keeping his eyes up and his options open. To the middle. Here's Wade. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first The NBA ball. has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of making that happen, Grant. Yeah, no, it's very exciting and to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa. It's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone. Inside, here's Holiday. Uses the glass to Just finish the layup. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Kings. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And this will give them win number 32 on the year so far. And even That's though this season series was only two games, a sweep is That's still a sweep. I tell you what, no matter how brief it is, anytime you can get a season series sweep, you're happy. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for De'Aaron Fox. I tell you what, this guy worked his behind off on both ends of the floor. He was really an intimidating presence out there. Sacramento has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Here's DiVincenzo. Oh, the teardrop falls in. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth. Outside Holiday. Off the mark there with a three. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Offensive rebound. Pass to Wade. Second chance shot. Can't capitalize inside. Rubio against DiVincenzo.
it's the Kings winning this one easily. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.